Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Postman tutorial, we are going to configure Jenkins post installation. So previous video was about the installation. Now, after you launch Jenkins portal on your local machine using local host colon 8080, the port that you have provided during installation, then you will be presented with this particular screen. And we have to enter this administrator password. You will see that we can get this password from this particular location, right? So it's in the wherever the Jenkins is there, local Jenkins secrets initial admin password. We simply go to this location and then copy it right so i'll uh, just open this location i okay, think we have to copy the whole path there initial admin password okay let me navigate to this location see users i think i have to provide the admin details there now see users and then we had app data local Jen jenkins secrets and initial admin pass so if you just open this in notepad we'll see this particular password all right so i'll simply copy it and use that password here and then click on continue okay so you'll see that we have the customized jenkins right so we'll simply install with the suggested plugins right i'll simply select that and then it will go ahead and it will take a little time to just install everything it will be maybe a couple of minutes or so okay so once the installation will happen and finish you will see that you will be prompted to create the first admin user right so we'll simply create a admin user there okay and i'll keep the admin user simple and i'll name it as admin and then i'll say save and continue our email is required so let me email there okay and the instance configuration yes we'll keep it as is i'll say save and finish all right so jenkins is ready we'll say start using Jenkins. so here we are on the jenkins page right this is basically what will be available to you now this whole installation process is just for our learning right we when you are going to learn basically we have have the installer and install it on our machine so we can access this interface and set up the jobs right but in the real projects in the in your actual projects jenkins server would already be there right you will be going ahead and requesting access to that jenkins server so you your access gets created and you are able to access jenkins portal and then you can go ahead and build the jobs right so you can start creating the job you'll see that here we can now start building our software project and the first thing that you see here is create a job right so in order to create a job when we say job within Jenkins it's, it is basically what all steps you want to perform right for example when we run the postman collection which command we fire right so we can set up that command as a job and within that command we can have multiple within a job we can have multiple set of commands so we get fired one after the other and that is where everything can be combined together to perform the end-to-end -end activity of running those collections right one activity could be fetching the code from git okay uh, from the github then building that then actually running the test right so that's what the the job when we say job creation that will do right so let's quickly go ahead and create a simple job so i'll simply say okay create a job all right and i'll say here the name of the job okay and here i'll say postman api testing okay and then we'll go ahead with the freestyle project okay there are multiple options but we'll go ahead with the freestyle project select that and say okay okay so we are on the configuration page here and then you will see different options in the left hand side to configure for example we want to fetch code from source code management right or you know the other uh, triggers are there the build environment everything so all of these details i have explained in much more detail in the whole jenkins tutorial here as part of the postman series i'm going to explain you how you can run the newman uh, commands by creating a job and then run your collection through jenkins all right so basically to create a first job we simply have to go to first you know build steps and then here you can see that execute windows batch command or execute shell what what exactly you want to do right so for example let's say windows batch command and then here let's see what version of the newman we have okay so we'll say or we'll say okay postman postman cli okay so let's see we have the postman cli as well so the command is postman hyphen h okay to get the help of all the postman cli commands and it will display all of this right so if we simply want to fire this from this particular job so we'll say postman hyphen h as the command okay and then we simply click on the save button to save this particular job once you'll save this particular job you'll see that we have the option to 
build now right and if you simply click on build now it will start the execution of the job and we'll see the result here okay so you'll see the job is successful if i go to this particular build and go to the console output you will see that the command has been executed right so basically here we have done postman hyphen h so it has given the details in the console log and the job is finished as so this is very basic freestyle configuration and why did we basically go ahead and configure so basically we'll go back and see go to configure so because we are on the windows machine right so that is why we have selected execute the windows batch command to execute windows commands right we can you can see that there are different options to execute shell or invoke and or so there are different options which we'll understand in the next video okay so that's all about this particular video around the jenkins configuration and configuring your first jenkins job i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching